Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to divide numbers using long division. So without wasting any time, let's start with the first division which is 789 divided by 3. For long division, it is a must to know all the tables. Please make sure that you know all the tables. So the two numbers 789 and 3 are called dividend and divisor respectively. The number by which we are dividing that is 3 is called the divisor and the number to be divided which is 789 is called the dividend. So we are going to divide 789 by 3. For that we are first going to write the tables of 3. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 3 is a 9, 3 4 is a 12, 3 5 is a 15, 3 6 are 18, 3 7 is a 21, 3 8s are 24, 3 9s are 27 and 3 tens are 30. So first we are going to write the tables of 3 and now we will start dividing the numbers. So in division we always start with the number which is having the highest place value. Here the highest place value number is 7. So we will first divide the hundreds which is 7. Now we will check how many times 3 goes into 7. So 3 times 2 is 6 so we are going to write 2 here. So we need to make sure that the number we pick is such a number which is just less than 7 or equal to 7. 6 at the bottom of 7 and we will subtract 6 from 7. So 7 minus 6 is 1. Now the next step is to check whether we have more numbers to divide or not. Here we see we have more numbers to divide so we will drop down the next digit which is 8. Now our dividend is 18 and we are going to divide 18 by 3. How many times 3 goes into 18? We are going to check with the tables. So we see that 3 times 6 is 18. So we are going to write 6 here in our quotient and 18 at the bottom of the number 18 and we will subtract the two numbers. So 18 minus 18 will be 0. So next step, so the next step is to drop down the next. Now we will check whether we have more numbers to divide or not. So here we see we have one more number to divide. So we will drop down the next number 9. Now our divisor is 3 and dividend is 9. We will check how many times 3 goes into 9. So 3 times 3 is 9. So we will write 3 here and we will subtract 9 from 9. So our remainder is 0. Here we see we have divided all the numbers. So we are going to stop here and the number on top is our quotient which is our answer. So our answer is 263. We are going to box the answer and we will solve the next question. So let's move on to our next question where our divisor is 5. And our dividend which is the number to be divided is 225. First step is to write the tables of 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 and 50. First we will see the highest place value number which is 2. But here we see that 2 is less than the divisor 5 and 5 does not go into 2. So we will take 2 digits together and we will divide 22 by 5. 5 times 4 is 20. We are going to write 4 here and 20 just below 22 and we will subtract the two numbers. So 22 minus 20 is 2. We see that there is still one more number to divide. Drop down the next number 5. Now our dividend is 25, we are dividing 25 by 5, 5 times 5 is 25, so we will write 5 here in the quotient and 25 just below 25 and subtract the two numbers. So we see that there are no more digits left and we have divided the number fully, so our final answer will be 45. We will box the answer and we will move on to our next example, example number 3. So next number to be divided is 486 divided by 2. First of all we will write tables of 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and 20. 
फोर इज बिगर देन टू सो वी कैन डिवाइड फोर बाय टू एंड नाउ वील रीड द टेबल्स ऑफ टू एंड चेक हाउ मेनी टाइम्स टू गोज इन टू फोर सो टू टाइम्स टू इज फोर फर्स्ट डिजिट इन द क्वेश्चन इज टू आई गोइंग टू राइट फोर जस्ट बिलो फोर एंड वील सब्सट्रैक्ट द टू नंबर्स फोर माइनस फोर इज जीरो सो वी हैव मोर डिजिट्स टू डिवाइड सो नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू ड्रॉप डाउन द नेक्स्ट डिजिट विच इज एट Our dividend is eight and divisor is two. We are dividing eight by two. Two times four is eight. We are going to write four here and eight just below eight, and we'll subtract the two numbers. So eight minus eight is zero. We have one more digit to be divided, so we'll bring down the next digit, which is six. We are dividing six by two. So two times three is six. We are going to write three. Here in the quotient, and six just below six, and we'll subtract the two numbers. Six minus six is zero. Here we have done with all the digits, so we are going to stop. Our remainder is zero, and our quotient is two hundred and forty-three, which is our final answer. We are going to box the answer, and we'll move on to our next example, where we are dividing five hundred and sixty-four by four. So here, first step is to write the tables of four. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Four fours are sixteen. Four fives are twenty. Four sixes are twenty-four. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Four eights are thirty-two. Four nines are thirty-six, and four tens are forty. Now we'll start dividing with the highest place value number in the dividend, which is five. Five is bigger than four, so we'll check how many times four goes into five. So four times one is four, and we'll write one here in the quotient, and four just below five. We'll subtract the two digits. So five minus four is one. So we have more digits, so we'll bring down the next digit, which is six. So now our dividend is sixteen. We are dividing sixteen by four, so four times four is sixteen. So we are going to write four here, and sixteen just below sixteen, and we'll subtract the two numbers. So sixteen minus sixteen is zero. So we have one more digit to be divided, which is four. Our dividend is four, and our divisor is four, and that is four times one. So we'll write one here in the quotient, and four just below the Number four, and we'll subtract the two numbers. Four minus four is zero. We are done with all the digits, and we are going to stop here. The number in the quotient will be our final answer, which is one hundred and forty-one. So we have solved quite a few examples in this video, and I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.